On the screen now, you're seeing two completely different video encoded streams on two different graphics cards. Can you tell the difference? Which one's better, A or B? And even better yet, can you tell me which graphics cards are encoding each one of those? Go ahead and jump in the comments and tell me before we go ahead and do the reveal. And let me go ahead and tell you the price difference between the two different graphics cards we use today is over $800 as of writing and filming this video. It is absolutely nuts. The quality that you can get from two separate graphics cards on the complete opposite end of the spectrum. So you're probably wondering which one is which. So uh, let's go ahead and reveal. Graphics card A is the RTX 3080 Ti. Now this is the MSI Gaming Trio. Fantastic card just upgraded to it. And this is what the encoding part comes from when I used a lossless recording of this video and then re-encoded it with Twitch bitrate settings. And we'll put those down on the bottom of the screen so you can see exactly what settings we used when encoding this stream. Now for graphics card B, we actually used this. This is the NVIDIA Quadro P400. Now you might be asking, but what is a Quadro P400? Especially you gamers and people who are just getting into this. What is this graphics card? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Now let me explain a couple things and let you know. The Quadro is actually for a workstation. It's a low powered chip and it's actually based upon an old GT1050 chip. If I'm not mistaken, please correct me in the comments if I am wrong, but, but the P400 is actually from the Pascal era of GPUs. And on here is NVENC, just like what you get on all of the newer cards and and older cards. Now you might be asking, but you need one of the new touring encoders to do that. No, you don't. No, you don't. Those eggs were a lie, Steven. A lie! So let me go ahead and show you. I went ahead and pulled a couple of graphics cards. This is the GTX 1070. This is the Founders Edition the GTX 1070. Oh my gosh, I'm stumbling over words. <laughs> but the GTX 1070 is a Pascal card. The encoders for NVENC on this are the exact same encoders that are on this. It's crazy. Sure, this is gaming just under 2060, RTX 2060, just over a 1660 Ti performance. This you're not gaming on. <laughs> it's not meant for that. But this is on right now for about 30 to 40, even $50 on eBay. All day you can pick up this graphics card. And it's actually got a bracket that's supposed to go on the end. But uh, we just moved and for some reason I lost the low profile bracket and I have the high profile profile and the case I'm putting it in is a low profile case. So I'm going to go ahead and spell out the specs of what PCA was able to do as a streaming PC. And then I'm going to show you PCB, the streaming rig for PCB, and show you how drastically different these two rigs are. All right, so the system you're looking at right here is my main rig. Right here is actually a 5950X AMD Ryzen processor. Fantastic. It's actually under the Fuma cooler. Love that one. You should go check it out. That's the RTX 3080 Ti. And then there's 32 gig of... Uh, of RAM in there, DDR4, whatever the case. Anyway, this is a really nice rig. Love this rig, it's fantastic. It is my main workstation and it powers my everyday content. And now you're probably asking, what is rig B? And now let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you that one now. Okay, and in all its glory, I've actually got it open right now. This is a Lenovo Think Center. This is the M82 model. Let me just go ahead and say, under this CPU cooler is an i3-2120. This is a two core, four thread processor. I think it's a 3.3 gigahertz boost. There's like eight gigs of DDR3 RAM in there. And then if you really look uh, right there is a PCIe 16 slot and then under is a one by slot. And that's actually how we're achieving this. So here is the Quadro. Fantastic card for what we're doing today. And it actually slots, it actually slots in this by 16 slot. So, okay. All right. That's installed without its bracket. Great. It's fantastic. All right, and then also for this rig, look at my room, guys. Look at the toys. See the toys? Let's zoom in on the toys. Look at my son's truck right there. See that? How cool is that? Yeah. Anyway, stream room coming soon. Um, powering capture in this is actually the HD60 Pro. Love this capture card because A, it's a buy one and it's 1080p60, etc. And then obviously I've got all this over here. You don't have to use something like the HD60 Pro in the system. Uh, you can even use USB card like the Mirabach HD60S. Uh, you can even use like the cheap capture cards and then also go to Walmart and get a Vivitar one for $20. Review on my channel of this. It's actually amazing. Anyway, so with this HD60S, conveniently I can take this up here and slot it into the buy one slot. All while destroying this PC because I can't see exactly where I'm plugging it into. My editor is cringing real hard right now. Oh brother, this guy stinks! You know what? Cringe or not? 
She's installed, bro. She is installed. Now, out of all of the rigs that I could have built, why did I build this? Let's talk about it. So the reason I built that rig, exactly that rig, this Lenovo Think Center here, I'll pan everything, see it? That Lenovo right there, the reason I built it is I got this PC for free, like from a school. And you can pick this up all day for like 30, 40 bucks on eBay. This Lenovo Think Center with RAM and a hard drive and a whole bunch of stuff. You can get something like this, that P400, like 30, 40 bucks. You can pick up one of these cheap capture cards from Walmart for like $20. And you're talking about a $100, $120 streaming rig that was capable of capturing the video quality that you see on the screen now. Once again, we'll put it back up. And this is what you saw at the beginning of the video, which was the B capture. Now, if you're doing a streaming rig and you want a second rig or you're trying to capture console like the Xbox One X I have back here for some testing, you're talking about that kind of quality for $120, $100. I'll put some links down in the description if you want to see everything and just kind of fill some things out so you can kind of pick out what you need. But the truth is this P400, which I just put in that system, the fact that it shares encoders with something like the GTX 1070, it looks as good or almost as good as something with an Ampere encoder or Turing encoder like the 3060 Ti or the 3080 Ti in my system right now. But it's absolutely crazy. So what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to take the next few moments and I'm just going to go ahead and toggle in between that lossless footage and then you're going to see the A and B footage once again. So let's take a look at it. But the truth is, and to answer your question, can you buy NVENC for $30? The answer is yes. If you want to see a more dedicated video where I actually take that P400 and stick, and you can see it as basically like a streaming rig inside a streaming rig. If you want to see that video, drop down in the comments and let me know. I look forward to taking a moment and seeing your comments below. Tell me, does it sound stupid to buy NVENC for $30? I really think the answer to that is no. And X264 is a thing, so is it worth it? So yeah, needing a streaming card or a streaming PC, maybe maybe you get a $30 solution first before you actually go and build a streaming rig that's stupid expensive that's basically a gaming pc when you can literally use like enterprise hardware and get exactly what you were getting before oh and just an fyi they even sell the t400 which has the exact same encoder as like the 3090 and the 3080 ti and all of that stuff um it's just not as cheap it's like 120 dollars. looks the same almost identical it's just not 30 dollars. i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more content centered around that p400 let me know down below i really would love to flesh this out a little bit more and then just go a little deeper talking about project quad that's what i'm going to deem this build quad for quadro and we're just going to say in future videos if you want to see more about project quad just let me know yeah i mean nvidia if you wanted to like send me one of these cards so we can like prove that enterprise yeah it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen i'm not that big am i that big stop buying 3060 ti's for your streaming rig i have this i mean 